in today's class we will see so how to work with any user defined business object business object by using object studio so blindly remember if you want to create any user defined business object we have to go for object studio object studio and then if you want to work with any application for example anything if it is installed in our machine with a executable file that thing we will call it as a windows based application or desktop based application windows based or desktop based application anything when we are connecting to our portal through the channel portal just a minute is is it audible now yes finish yeah okay so anything we are connecting to through any portal so browser when we are using that is browser based application now first we will see so how to work with windows based application how to automate the application now so our requirement is for example open any new notepad new one new notepad we have open and then in this we need to type something after typing we need to click on a file after that we need to click on a save once you click on a save you will get a it will ask you path path of the file give me the path of the file here you need to mention the path of the file after mentioning the path of the file so you have to click on save so these many steps we have to perform same thing each and every option or each and every task as a human how you are performing each and everything we need to spy and we need to create a actions in your object studio each and every option is a separate action remember this statement each and every option is a separate action in any application how many options how many actions we have how many tasks we are going to perform each and every option is separate action separate action like writing the data that is one action and first we are going to launch your notepad right that is separate action so when you are launching so how you are launching your notepad so you are going to double click right when you are double clicking what it is going to do it will open the notepad so but what is happening in the back end it will run the executable file and then it is going to launch right same thing here so we have to do with by using application modeler if you want to work with any application if you want to work with first we need to launch that application by using application modeler once you launch the application by using application modeler then only we can able to spy we can able to clone otherwise it is not possible must and should the application has to be launched through application modeler so how to do that so we we'll see here Just 
gösteriyor. Right-click, Create Object, Notepad. So given the name of the application and finish, the object has been created. Now observe carefully what we are doing here. We have launch application modular action initialize cleanup. We are not going to do anything with initialize and cleanup. We have to work with a actions here. If you want to create actions, we need an element. If you need an element, we need to create an application. First, observe. We use we have to use application modular to work with application. Just click on application modular. Next, observe this by using Blue Prism. We can able to automate all these type of application, Windows based application, Java based application, browser based application, and mainframe based application. So most of the time, so 99.99% of the time, so everyone is going to work with Windows based and browser based. Windows based and browser based applications. Now, so what it mean by Java based? If any application, if they have purely developed by using Java code, then they will go for Java based application. So our client will tell us, so if that application is developed by Java purely or not. So most of the time, any application, they will not use only any single language. For example, so drop down list, they may be, so they will develop in a HTML, check boxes, maybe in a PHP. So maybe so in a user interface that is maybe in a .NET, right? So it's different different things. So most of the time it will be browser based only and mainframe based. So almost mainframe application has been absoluted. Only one or two companies so they are using mainframe based. We have an option to work with the mainframe based also. Now Notepad, where it has been available where it is available in our local system in our system with a executable file dot exe file it has been installed in our system so i will call that as a windows based application click on next observe this what it says my application is launched from an executable file another option is my application will already running and I need to launch which one we need to select first one by default if you select second one manually every time before running the process you need to launch then we have to go for executable file so but so first so if you click on this executable file so automatically when you are starting the process automatically it will launch this executable file and then it will perform the tasks but in the second option, so we have to launch your executable file manually. Then only you need to run the task. So that is not suggestible. So always launch from executable file. Next, what it is asking. Observe this. Give me the path where your executable file is available. We need to enter the path of the application executable file. Here, Notepad is a application. If you are working with Windows Media Player, that is a application. If you are working with VLC Media Player, that is a application, right? So if you are working with, for example, Google, Google is a application. If you are working with any bank portal, ICSE or so H HSBC, whatever it may be, then that is a another application each and everything we will call it as a application here now our application is notepad browse <coughs> where your executable file is available go to windows 
observe this notepad here our executable file is available for notepad select see windows notepad.exe we have given the path next now observe this enter the command line parameter so the all these things remaining everything is by default it's not required just a minute uh, gopal krishna could you please go to mute some disturbance is coming thank you okay so remaining all the options so by default so we need to select next 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 so no need to do anything now observe this what happened the application has been created application has been created now when the application is created observe always it is going to create main element by default it will create a main element main element the name is notepad 7 notepad 7 this is the main element and so if you create anything for the under this all those are the sub elements any application will have one main element when you created application after that we need to create sub elements based on your requirement now so this is a main element for us now so what is the option we have here observe this launch must and should the application has to be launch through application modular then only we can able to spy or we can able to clone otherwise it is not possible now we are launching this by using this option click on this what happened it's launched notepad open we have two notepads here this one is so it's launched manually this one is launched through application modular now we have launched right that is the first option we have performed on this application for that first option we need to create action in your object studio create a element element has been created for that element create a action in your object studio these actions we are going to use it in a process studio by using with the help of action help now click ok minimize this first action is launch rename launch click ok now to launch to terminate for mouse click we have to go for navigate shape to launch and terminate and mouse click mouse clicks we have to use navigate stage we have a navigate shape or navigate stage so observe this here this one to launch the application to terminate the application to use mouse clicks option we have to use this now observe navigate give the link now give the link yes what you need to do in this navigate double click observe it is asking element always to launch and terminate you have to use launch and terminate you have to use main element main element come here main element this is the main element just drag and drop onto the element now action based on your object properties this will vary these options will vary 
so it is not so every time it is not the same value every time every based on object properties it is going to change launch we have used launch for the main element click ok if you run this it has to launch if you run it has to launch for example this one has been launched right i'm closing this now notepad has been closed now reset we are going to run again run what happened it's launched first action is working properly now what is the next step you need to perform on your notepad you need to write something you need to write in the notepad then uh, uh, that is another option that is another so task you are going to perform on your notepad so we need to create separate action separate element now right click new so before that we need to create a element go to application modeler element element name we will use this as a write we need to write something so click on identify now observe this how many modes we have left hand side you can able to see the modes those are spying modes win32 and if i click a alt button what it says down press alt key to switch the spy mode if i use alt then it is going to change the mode now it is in win32 now i am using alt observe accessibility observe region mode again win32 accessibility region these are the three modes we have to spy windows based application win32 accessibility and region by default mode is win32 mode to spy any application by default win32 is the default we have another modes like accessibility and region so these are the other modes we have to spy to spy or to clone but default for windows based application most of the time win32 will work if win32 is not working then we have to go for another mode accessibility mode so in some application if it is accepting region mode then we will go for region we will discuss about region later so how it work so how it will be if win32 is not working we will go for accessibility mode so any application so they did not the blue prism did not given so this application will work only in this particular mode spy mode always we have to do trial and error we have to do rna and we have to do trial and error only and there is no so specific things like this application will work only in this mode this application will work only in this mode must and should we have to spy and then we have to check so by default it will work most of the application win32 now so we have a modes here spy modes and come to this what you can able to see here it's highlighting right it's highlighting these windows this is nothing but spying and come to other notepad can you able to see anything here nothing right this has been launched manually this is not launched through your application which one is launched through your application <coughs> this notepad that's why we can able to spy it here now in this what you need to do observe here what is the option it's so top left hand side it is showing control left click to select highlight item now this one we need to select control left click yep also it captured properties it captured properties for that particular object it captured all the properties here in this properties by default so what you need to do is 
every time for windows based application you need to and browser based applications also you need to uncheck wherever you don't have values for checked properties observe this this is checked right and then if you observe here we don't have value for this if you observe remaining checked ones we have a values for this right value wherever you don't have value you are going to uncheck that is the first rule you need to remember when you are spying you need to uncheck wherever you don't have values okay now click highlight observe this to cross check it is working fine or not we need to use highlight button and we created a one element right right apply okay now we created element now next what we need to do we need to create a action element spy and create a action now right click new what we need to do we need to write and click ok here to write to put any values we have to use write shape write shape to write the data to write data we need to write here right we need to write there in that particular so not an object so we have to use write shape here now observe this we have an option called write this one give you the link double click now write use write in the element and then what is the value you need to write for example this is from bot this is from bot just i have given some value here and click ok that's it now if you want to test this you have to run so in the notepad nothing is there we don't have anything here now come here reset and run now observe what it says right say it is showing some other just a minute double click okay so any string must ensure it has to be grabbed in double quotes it has to be grabbed in double quotes otherwise it will not be now click ok click ok and reset run it ran right come to the notepad observe it's written here after that what we need to do i need to click on a file this is another option another task what you are going to perform again we need to spy that file we need to create a element we need to create a action go to application modular element file right click on file what you need to do there we need to click on a file and identify come to notepad can you able to identify file here with win32 no right by default mode is win32 we can't able to spy it here now come change your mode observe win32 we can't able to spy region see this we can able to spy it here in a region mode now use control and left click control and left click to capture the properties of that particular object now control left click now it captured the properties again here if you observe so many properties it has been captured in this we don't we want to uncheck wherever we don't have values Okay, now again, let's check. 
yeah everything is in check now we are going to highlight see this it's working right it is trying to highlight now we created a element with the click on file we need to create a action here right right click new click on file and click ok again what you need to do you are going to implement mouse click here so which one you have to use navigate remember to launch to terminate for mouse click options you have to use navigate double click right click on file now observe this different different options right so here we have two options global mouse click another one is global mouse click center so what is the difference between global mouse click and global mouse click center observe global mouse click center we are using now what are the properties it has been taken mouse button mouse is a button so this one as a it's taking as a button now global mouse click center global mouse click observe this x and y and mouse button right it means it is going to if you use mouse click it has to capture so x and y coordinates x and y positions for that particular object it means in this file so what is the x and what is the y in this particular position okay now another one it is not going to take x and y positions for example here when you are working with this notepad x and y positions will be the same in this version in this uh, os right but for example if you deploy into some other machine then it may change the x and y positions may change it is not consistent for each and every operating system right so that's why so most of the time we have to use global mouse click center that is a suggestible if you are sure about so any platform so x and y coordinates will be the same x and y coordinates will be platform in, independent for any application then we can go for global mouse click otherwise we have to use global this one mouse click center now we are using global mouse click center click ok so what it has to do when you run this it has to click it has to click on this reset and then if you run it will click on the file after click on the file so what we need to do we need to click on a save again right there is a separate option again we need to go to application modular add element okay one more thing before coming to this if you test this sometimes so also running reset run observe this it is throwing error why because when you are here so it will highlight file when you come out from this it is not in that particular window right so that's why it is unable to select this option that window is came out we came out from that window that's why it is unable to select this option see this if the mouse came here then only it is highlighting otherwise it is not highlighting right so that's why it unable to use that save also same if you click here then only you will get a save if i come out from this it's gone right it's disabled so must and should so we have to click on this we have to be in that particular window only so everything so when it is executing one by one in your process video then it will work but here it will throw error that is common so don't worry about that so when you are implementing that so just observe so what is the error it is displaying it displaying that observe this supplied query term unable to match so it's unable to click on file it's unable to identify the file so because it has been disabled if you go here then only it will highlight here that's right now next element 
application modular save right save we need to save right highlight come here after this again highlight we need to click on this then only save option will come we will click and then we will change the mode accessibility now save we can able to spy control left click we capture properties now again okay. uncheck wherever we don't have values then if you highlight also it will not highlight because see this is that so option is displaying here the save save as options no because it has to we have to click on file then only it will display if you come out it's gone so if you highlight also see this it will not work okay so when you are running this in sequence order so it will work we will see that so now we created an element and then we need to use a save so again say what you are doing again mouse click use navigate double click save global mouse click center click ok after that save so what it is giving when you click on a save we need to give the path we need to give path so we need to spy this and we need to create a element come to this again application modular create a element path and identify come here it's identifying in win32 control left click come to this everything it has been highlighted and highlight yes it's working now we need to give the part of the file so we need to create an action for this come to this new path click ok path we need to enter again so what we need to do we need to use a write double click use the element path and then we need to give the path of the file where you need to create that particular file go to industry i will select any path copy as a path if you hold your shift and then if you right click then you will get the option called copy as a path here we need to give the path so this is a text file right so we will take it as a notepad sample dot txt click ok now in this path it is going to enter so now if you reset and then if you run it will run now because the window is highlighted window is available reset and run observe this path entered after the path what we need to do we need to click on a save this is a button observe this save is a button cancel is a button right now let it come here go to application modular add element save button save button and highlight come to this save button it's highlighted control left click come here again it highlighted everything highlight observe this yes it's highlighting and apply okay we need to create a action for this new this is save button click ok again here it's a mouse click so we have to use navigate wherever you have a button there we will get a option called press you can use press for example in this notepad if you observe this this is not a buttons right so this is not buttons if you observe this this is also not buttons if you click on save 
for example save as observe this these two are buttons wherever you have a button properties button objects there you will get an option called just a minute okay. observe the option press observe this press global mouse click center also work global mouse click center also it will work press option and click ok if you run this it is going to click on the save option here it will click on a save now reset and run also this it saved if you go to here observe this one it saved right so notepad sample dot txt if you open this yes it has been saved right now it has saved after that i need to close this notepad right we need to close this notepad <coughs> now if you want to close if you want to launch must and should we have to use navigate shape at the same time we have to use main element main element no need to create element separately for terminate we can use main element for launch for terminate we can use navigate shape for launch and terminate okay now put a click new terminate nothing but closing your notepad navigate okay to give the link double click sorry main element and you will get a option called terminate also terminate is done click ok now all the options if you run this observe this the notepad has been closed right now each and every option we created separate separate actions here if you observe all are individual actions right can't we able to create everything in a one action after navigate after launch so we need to write after write we need to so click on file after click on save or uh, sorry click on file we need to click on save after clicking on a save so we need to give the path right we can do like this right so after this after this after this in a same action in the same action we can be able to create all these things after right we can able to use save button and then terminate everything we can able to do it in a so one action only but why we are creating separate separate actions for each and every option for example the main intention of creating this is for reusable purpose for reusable purpose once you create these actions in your object studio you can able to use these actions n number of times n number of times and in n number of bots n number of bots not only one bot you can use this in n number of bots that's why we are creating this application that's why we are automating this application with each and every action okay so when you are using n number of times n number of bots for example so my requirement is so i will go to file so i am going to so open and i don't want to write something so another person requirement is they will go they will open a notepad they will write something so they will not click on a save they are going to change the font another person requirement is so they will launch on the file so directly they will not write anything so they will go to the edit so they will do some other options paste or find next or replace whatever it may be right so it means each and every person's requirement is different right so if you want to automate this application completely observe each and every option 
you need to create as a separate actions in your object studio it means how many options we have in a notepad to work with each and everything you need to create separate actions how many options we have here new open save save as each and everything is a separate action then only we can say that application has been completely automated now we have created actions based on our requirement right only something not everything based on our requirement we have done but right? but if you want to automate any application you need to create actions for each and every option in your application then we can say that it's completely automated so here edit how many options we have format how many options we have view help how many options we have each and everything we need to spy and we need to create a element after the element we need to use that as a action once you created everything then we can able to use that in your process studio otherwise so if you do it in everything in a one place everything in one action here for example in a launch only we are doing everything if they use this launch in your process studio then everything will run at a same tasks same process same flow but maybe your requirement will be different another person requirement will be different then it is not possible to reuse that's why we are creating each and every thing as a separate actions so now we create a actions right now we have to so understand how to use this in a process studio how to use this in a process studio we will see that in next class it will take some time now so what are the things any application this is a common things what we are going to do it can be a windows or it can be a browser most of the time as a blue prism developer you are going to do these things only your application will differ that's it remaining everything will be the same what you are going to do first you are going to use application modular to create a application you need to give the executable file where the application is available and when you create a application it will create a main element right observe this this is the main element main element it will take the path and the name so and then we are going to launch once you create a L application modular must and should we need to launch by using application then only we can able to spy otherwise you can't able to spy your application if application is opened normally manually you can't able to spy must and should it has to launch through application modular only once it is launched then what we are doing to do we need to create a elements elements by spying spying the object to spy how many modes we have win32 accessibility and region what is the default mode for application win32 and when you create a spy when you spy it on any specific mode you will get the properties like this here we need to remember one thing wherever you don't have values you need to uncheck okay we will see that what is this properties how to work with the different different properties in going over classes okay next we created a element after creating a element then what we need to do we need to create a application action sorry we need to create a action by using this element so we created elements main element right click and then copy so path and then save button all these are the different different elements based on these elements we created action separate separate action so this launch separate action right separate action 
based on your application property and what you are going to do on that particular thing so based on that we have to use shapes to launch to terminate we have to use navigate to write something we have to use write so if you want to get any data if you want to read then we have an option called read mouse click we will use navigate to write to write the path to write some data we will use write option to get the value to read the text we will use read option okay so next we will see what is the purpose of wait so when you are using that in a process video you came to know why we need to go for a wait now we created everything each and every action here in next class we will see so how to work with this so actions in your process studio each and everything here we will call it as a actions but in process studio we will call this as a pages but in object studio we will call this as a actions that's why we have a another option called action here also this by using this action shape we are going to use these actions in your process studio we will see that how to work with that in the next class is it clear any doubts in this class anyone just try to implement try to capture the same elements try to spy the same thing what we have done here same thing try to implement in your machine take in same example not bad example so just so also so how it is spying and what all the properties it is capturing okay